We'll look at our weather report now and see if we can get you set up for the upcoming weekend as well, not to mention the holidays. Uh, this weather report brought to you by Ballet BC's The Nutcracker, starting out over the eastern Pacific, give you an idea of what's on the way. Well, it's the dreaded atmospheric river. There it is from our spot here in Metro Vancouver, running all the way down in an extremely long southwest fetch, gathering up some subtropical moisture. That is quite a conveyor belt of clouds and rain headed this way. Now, the key is the little frontal wave here. I don't know that it makes a direct impact on Metro Vancouver. It'll slump ever so slightly to the south and really target Washington State, sweeping up into the Fraser Valley, all the neighboring mountain passes of the B.C. southern interior. Snowfall warnings in effect for those mountain passes. If you have travel plans heading towards the interior, definitely check, check uh, Drive B.C. for the uh, highway conditions first. A torrent of rain heading towards northwest Washington. We'll get some of it here, but I don't believe we take a direct hit from the real uh, business end of that storm front. I'll break it down for you here. I want to show you the uh, high resolution computer model forecast that flows along with this current imagery, this satellite and Doppler radar. It's fairly cloudy. It's not fairly wet. The showers have really backed off for the time being. And I expect a few spotty showers through mid morning. Nothing much more than that. So it's really not that wet for several hours. But at the end of the day, the widespread rain starts to sweep in again. So as the sun goes down, conditions really deteriorate. This evening, heavier rain, gusty winds all around around the district and then overnight and tomorrow morning most of that heavy rain really slides inland so there's a weather warning in effect right now east of Abbotsford through Chilliwack, Hope, uh, Agassiz, all those areas to the east just drenched tonight and tomorrow morning and then the rest of us looking at a well somewhat more pleasant Friday afternoon as rain tapers to showers in the second half of the day tomorrow. Here's your whole seven day picture still wet to begin the weekend with a few showers not Sunday your first full day of the winter season dries out hey it's cool it's dry Monday Monday, Tuesday into Christmas Eve, and yes, I've stuck a, a snuck a snowflake there on the Wednesday forecast. I'm running a little late, Greg. I'll, show, I'll throw it over to you, filling in for Thor this morning.